and happy Sunday to you all. Today I'm going to do the final video of the telephone here from Argentina, model B111A by Standard Electric for the Argentinian industry. I did the first checkout video last year um, in the early days of the pandemic and hadn't gone around to doing a final checkout video of this telephone. So one thing that I ran into was trying to figure out how to get it to dial out correctly. Um, it it would register on my uh, telephone analyzer, I, but I, it would always seem to misdial on our phone, on an actual phone line. So um, I will not be able to do or wouldn't have been able to at all do a uh, dialing out video because it wouldn't dial out correctly. So um, I'm just going to do um, do the dialing where you see the numbers on the uh, telephone analyzer. So this one is from the year 1960, and um, most of these telephones we come across on eBay are usually refurbished by Russell Johnson Imports where they take out all, pretty much all the original components such as in the handset and put in modern cheap ones. This one, by luck, I managed to get in all original shape with the exception of the line cord, which I uh, replaced uh, with an RJ11 and the number card because there was not one in there initially or they had taken it out. This one I bought on eBay last year, obviously, around this time. And uh, the person I bought it from brought this over from... He brought it over from Argentina, Buenos Aires. It was his grandmother's telephone. And, um, yeah, I was very lucky to get it in pretty much original shape. You know, no... Uh, modifications done on this telephone except for the stuff that I did with it. So this is a telephone based on the BTMC model 2724 designed by Antwerp and uh, there's a lot of telephones around the world that are based off that design from the influence you know standard electric and you got um, ones made in Brazil as well standard elect electrica then you have ones in Hungary and so on. Even um, in China, they made these telephones. Um, I am going to make a video of that one too because I happen to have one. So stay tuned. So here's a look at the phone. The, the restoration was a success, obviously. Um, Bakelite is in good shape. And of course, you got you know the roughness in the Bakelite in the handset from use. You see the spots. That is not dirt. That's just the Bakelite. Um, that's just what happens when it deteriorates. It's just a natural thing with it. So that is pretty pretty common on these telephones. Um, pardon the dust. I actually just got it off the shelf, and I hadn't dusted in a while since I moved. Um, the dial has been adjusted and, and uh, cleaned and oiled, so got a nice smooth return, and it's nice. It has kind of like a a whir to it, along with the clicks, which is really nice. So there's that. Um, actually, this type of handset is the exact type of handset used on my telephone. Of which I haven't done a video of yet, of this uh, kettle telephone from RTT from Belgium. It's got the exact same handset on it, so that's a pretty neat thing. I will do a video of that telephone soon. I got that one a couple years ago at the phone show. So, back to this. No cracks or any other damage except for some scratches around the base. There's that. There's quite a bit of a shine to it, with the exception of the roughness on the handset, but that's okay. Um, handset port's in good shape. Got that. As I said, no damage. Just that. And one thing I noticed um, on the other telephones, like I think they were made in uh, uh, Hungary, 
they had more of a fancier design, at least on the ears, on the cradle. If you were to pull one up on online, you would know what I mean. There's the plunger, of course. Um, not really much to say because it's it's in such great shape. Um, I, of course, I will have um, pictures of the inside at the end of this video. Let's take a look at the bottom, and I'll show you what the bottom looks like. There's Standard Electric, model B111A, Industria Argentina. And, of course, I found the year inside the telephone on one of the components, 1960. So this is going to be a fairly short video. I'm going to go ahead and do the... Um, let me first turn it on. I'm going to reach my foot around. First, we're going to dial out on it. So let me move the telephone in such a way that you'll be able to see it. Okay. So there's that. And of course, it's going to be blurry on the um, analyzer because it's focused on the telephone, but that's the whole point of what we're going to do. So, of course, I don't know if you can hear, it's got dial tone. It's very faint. But we will have to make do. So I'm just going to dial a few numbers on here just to show you that it's working or it's registering on the analyzer. I've got a 8. I've got a 0. And a 0. So that worked out nicely. And I believe this was... I'm not sure this is the correct type of number card for this telephone. I happened just to put one in there because, of course, Intel was something that was formed later on. And um, I think it had a different number card. Um, I cannot recall offhand. So this telephone would not have had this type of number card. But it's just something that I happened to have offhand that would have been kind of nice to have to... Uh, fill it in a little bit so let's go ahead I'm gonna reach my foot around I'm gonna give it a ring I'm gonna give it three rings and and um, pick up on the third so let me and of course pick up on the third All right, this was the final checkout of this telephone from Argentina. Standard electric model B111A from the year 1960. And I will have more videos to come. I will do a video of the one from China soon. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for more additional videos coming out within the next few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed and enjoy your week. Thanks for watching.